Hey guys, it's Angela. What's up? How are you doing today? Um, was gonna try a periscope today. However, my connection is poor. We are live in my lovely office. Um, <laughs> and I don't really record here that often. Why? Because I'm really never home. So, therefore, welcome. Welcome to my office. Um, being here made me believe and think about how most of you are someplace you rather would be not. Whether it be fitness, whether it be in your lifestyle, whether it be whatever it is. We're all somewhere we think we want to be somewhere else. We want to um, be able to create something that is different and we really don't know how per se. Now, we'll ask, we'll pray, we'll meditate, we'll, you know, work towards it, what have you. But what about all those other things that we do in the day-to-day -day life? Um, I think one of the things, one of the best ways that I've learned how to do is create my own reality. And I create my own reality by imagining using my imagination. Imagination, as Spongebob would say. Um, <laughs> that way, um, by using your imagination, you know what, first of all, let me just say this, the brain is a powerful tool. And most of us know this, but we don't really understand how to use that tool. Um, we don't understand how to use this tool because we've never been, um, never been taught how to use it. Um, and what I mean by that is that we, you know, we just think we're daydreaming or whatever. But really we can tell our brain what to do by imagining and putting things there. So right now I really, really, really want to start waking up at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I also want to uh, get a, my own space. And also I want some other things as well. So therefore now, oh, and for my business I want to see myself speaking more with speak, more speaking engagements. So, therefore, what I'm doing is I'm imagining those things. Every day what I do is I imagine myself doing more speaking engagements. I'm on a stage in a nice outfit, um, whether it be a workout outfit or a dress outfit. That's where I'm at. And then I'm imagining myself speaking and the crowd reacting and the crowd loving what I'm saying. Also, um, like when it comes from my new space, I meditate on that by bringing myself into that space how does it feel to be in that space um a lot of times we need to create the feeling of it before we actually see it i know a lot of us think that you know once i lose the weight once i lose 20 pounds then i will be able to be happy no we have to be happy first and then we get what we want and sometimes we don't even want what we said we wanted have you ever wanted had it that happen where you say you want xyz and then you got it and you're like um okay cool what do you do um so let's start with the feeling how to create a feeling a lot of us create a feeling well, well i'll tell you what i did in order to create a feeling, like the last time I had to move, I was in a pretty rough spot, really, really bad spot. So I would create a feeling of motivation. And for some reason, T.I.'s song, uh, Motivation, just clicked with me. And I would listen to that song every day, all day. And that gave me the, well, maybe not all day, but, you know, most of the day I would listen to that song whenever I was down. And that gave me the force and the ample will to do the, have the motivation to get where I wanted to be. Um, I could see it, I could feel it, I could touch it before I had it. And that's what got me out of that situation. I'm doing something similar now. Um, I'm creating the space of my own space now. I am also creating my, using places that I go to and saying this is mine. And acting as if it is mine. I'm pretending it is mine. I'm using my imagination saying that all this stuff is mine now because I claimed it. And the funny thing about the brain is that most times what happens is, I know you think you're pretending, the brain doesn't see it that way sometimes. It says, oh, this is what's going on, so therefore it lives there while you're there. Now, the key point of this is staying where you're at, st trying to keep that vibration, or let's say radio frequency, as long as you can. So a lot of us may, you know, 
imagine for a second that we're happy, we're this, we're that, we're married, and then two seconds later we're automatically turned off by somebody walking down the street or something our kids did or something our kids, someone did at work. We have to stay in the vibration of, or radio frequency I like to use, um, of whatever we want. The longer we stay there, the faster it comes to us. I know right now, like I said, I'm creating my own space. I am creating my business the way I want it. So now, maybe not today, I'm in my office today, so lack of makeup. But most days when I'm with my clients, my clients have noticed a difference in me. I'm putting on makeup now. I'm dressing better because in my head, a personal trainer and a fitness coach, she dresses better. She dresses to attract people. So therefore, that's what I'm doing now. I'm also, you know, whenever I come home, um, and even though this isn't my space, I pretend like it is my space. I act as if it's my space. I act as if this is already mine and I'm already there in my space and I keep my space clean like I need to. Um, this is a challenge because a lot of times we are, we look around and the things are still the same. Nothing's changed. However, you know how God works and you know how spirit works. And sometimes we've got to put forth the effort first. So that's just one way of putting forth the effort, even with your fitness goals. I think over the course of this week, we'll talk about what we're going to do to act as if we're reaching our fitness goals. Anyway, just a short little topic I want to talk to you about, and I hope to see you soon. Um, again, live on my iPad. I will see you later. Join me on Periscope later, and we'll talk more about this and what things you can do to reach your fitness goals mentally way before you do them physically. See you later.